Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 108 for the Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to create a custom pop up photo slideshow. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to accomplish this task. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your designs gallery and lock that panel. And let's go ahead and click on the page elements folder and then click on the photos folder and then click on the landscape photos folder and you can choose whichever photo folder you want but I'm going to use landscape photos folder in this case and let's go ahead and drag any image that we want into our workspace and we're going to just drag one image so don't drag any more right now and let's go ahead and resize this photo down to make it a little bit smaller and once you do that let's go ahead and hit control C and control shift V and that's going to paste an exact copy on top of that image and I'm going to drag it over like so and I'm going to repeat this process a couple times until we have a decent number of photos in fact I'm going to copy all of these photos here and you can hit control A if you want to select them all and hit control C control shift V to make an exact copy on top and drag that down like so and we have a decent amount of pictures here now so once you do that let's go ahead and drag an image on top of each of these photos individually because I want to give each image a different picture and once you have a different picture on each of these we're going to go ahead and finish making our photo slideshow and I'm going to give this one a different image because it looks too closely related to that tree over there so once you have each of these images changed let's go ahead and hit control A to select all the images and then right click on it and make sure your cursor is over a photo when you right click and go to web properties and we're going to click on the image tab and once you're on the image tab we're going to select the option that says pop-up photo because we're going to be making a custom pop-up photo slideshow the next option you see here is for the pop-up width and I'm sorry I actually just changed my screen and I didn't want you to see that because that's like my whole like schedule um, so let me go ahead and go back to our window see that's what happens when you're on Windows 8 sometimes it, it does things that you don't want to because it has the swipe features but anyway let's get back to the tutorial once you get back to the web properties panel under the pop-up width you can set how large your pop-up photo is going to be and I'm going to set that to be about 600 pixels you can make it whatever you'd like it to be and then once you set that let's go ahead and click on the options button here and it's going to give us all our options for our pop-up photo and I'm not going to go through all these I'm just going to quickly say what it does and then we'll leave it at that for the dim page option which is the first option that dims the page um, the shadow is going to put a shadow behind the pop-up show the image title is going to allow you to see the image title and I would recommend leaving that checked um, show the gallery browser controls it's going to show you some controls that allow you to transition through your photos in the pop-up mode and thumbnail strip is going to allow you to see a thumbnail at the bottom of your page automatically start slideshow it's going to automatically start the slideshow when you click on that image and it brings up the pop-up in other words it's going to transition through the images without you having to do anything and then the last option we have here is to change the photo every in blank whatever seconds you want it to change so that's how often the photos are going to transition I'm going to leave it at five seconds because I think that's a good duration so once you have that set let's go ahead and hit OK and hit apply and I'm not going to close this window out just yet I'm going to click in a blank space in my document and I'm going to click on one image and what I want you to do is to give this image a title and you see that it says pop up title and the reason that I clicked in a blank space is because I don't want to select all the photos I don't want to give every photo the same title so for the pop up title let's go ahead and call it wall because it's a picture of a wall and hit apply and then we want to give the next photo a title we just click on it and then give it another pop up title in this case I'll call it apple and hit apply and so you would do that for every single photo I'm not going to do that in this tutorial just to keep things quick and to the point so once you're done giving every photo a title let's go ahead and hit OK and I'm going to go ahead and preview this in my browser so let's go to file preview web page and I'm going to select Chrome and I'm going to preview it in my web browser and if we were to click on any of these images you'll see that it pops up and you'll see in the upper left hand corner it says the word wall because we gave it the title wall you'll see that it also has some browser controls here and if we click the previous arrow it'll go to the previous image if we click next it goes to the next image 
we have a play button if you want to click on that it'll automatically play through the images and in a few seconds here it's going to transition to the next slide like so and if we wanted to close it out we could hit the X button here and it would close it out but I'm going to open it back up because I want you to see one other thing if you look at the bottom part of your screen you'll see that there's some thumbnails here and that's the option that we set in our options for the pop-up photo slideshow and if you click on any of these images it's going to transition to that image for your pop-up photo slideshow okay so let's go ahead and go back to the Xara web designer software and I want to say one other thing once I get back there uh, let's go ahead and close that out and what I want to say is that you can style these images however you want them to look you know you could if you wanted to you can make this image you know on an angle if you wanted to for your pop-up photo slideshow you know you can style it however you want if you wanted to give this image a line stroke I say that I gave it a four pixel line stroke and I set the line color to uh, white and I wanted to give it a shadow and you don't have to follow this part I'm just showing this just to show you that you can style these images just how you want and it really doesn't matter it's not going to stop it from working correctly so if we go back to file preview web page and click on the Chrome button here if I were to click on that image it still pops up like it should and it still retains the styling that we applied I hope that this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to comment embed share and subscribe and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials and if you have any tutorial requests please let me know and have a great day